I really feel that this issue about the six Marys is at the core. It's interesting because we were already preparing a lecture on the six Marys. When was this? In 2010, I believe, or 11. We had already given lectures on the six Marys. And we have tried to get the information on the six Marys, and it's disappeared. Oh, whoops, I don't have it on our computer anymore. Whoops, we don't have it on the computer. So we had to get it from somebody who was in those lectures who took notes on the Six Marys lecture. Because guess what, folks? Even though it's more comfortable to hide it under the rug and be fraudulent about the whole situation and try to just convince people of their own current times, it's easier to do that. It's easier to do what the church, what Mother is doing. Hide it! Don't talk about it! Don't bring it up, it's going to cause problems. So easy to do that. That's a temptation. But guess what? Just like the Mormons, 200 years later, 200 years later, are dealing with the issue around their founder. They're still dealing with it. You understand, folks? It never goes away. It will never go away. For him to come and take all the women of this world and be their spouse. And to have children from every single one of those people. And kill off Satan's blood lineage. I don't care if that makes you feel uncomfortable. I don't care if that makes you feel unnerved. That's the quickest way to do it. He says in public, he says, this only contains 80% of my autobiography. Right? Some of the Japanese sisters maybe have heard that. And then he goes on to call up the four great saints' wives. You know, Mrs. Jesus and Mrs. Buddha and Mrs. Uh, who is it? Mohammed and no, and Mrs. Uh, Confucius. So he says this only has 80% of my life story, and then he calls up those ladies. See, what you don't realize about who those ladies are, they're part of the six Marys. You see, if you don't understand the bride of Christ, the brides of Christ, and you don't understand the three-day ceremony, you have no way to explain why Father had to walk that course of having those relationships. What is your explanation? What is it? The only way you can explain this is to say that, well, I guess Father was weak in the flesh. But then if you say that, you're saying God is weak in the flesh. What is it? How do you explain the six marriages? How do you explain those relationships beyond the six marriages? How do you do it? And still believe in Father. You can't. You cannot. And I've seen it because we've, as the children, we've seen it. I remember one time in Washington, D.C., they were having an argument. And Mother brought this issue out. And she condemned Father for it. If, you, if I didn't save you from that, you would have had children from many, many different bellies, is what she said to him. 